What's up guys, I'm Shane and welcome back to the Sim Dynasty. This year might, it might be the year. 99 overall team, 99 offense, 97 defense. Number 8 in the country, we've got a 99 overall quarterback leading us who's a Heisman front runner. As, well, not the front runner, but he's in the conversation. Yep, McIntyre number 5 on the Heisman list. So that's pretty good. That's the expectations they have for us. And there's a couple things real quick. So first team, all NCAA. There's McIntyre at quarterback. And then Mullins at center. Aren't you glad you came back, bud? You could have been a seventh round pick. Now you're coming back first team all NCAA. Atkins first team all NCAA too. Yeah, higher expectations for us this year. We got anyone second team? Nope. All ACC, we got McIntyre, Mullins, obviously. We've got Alexander and Atkins. Second team, Williams is on here. All right. All right. 92 overall. So the running back is probably the weakest position that we got out there. I guess it's not even that weak. Cochran, second team all... Or, yeah, second team all conference. All right. Not bad. Championship contenders were an A+. 8 2, two one. So that number one overall class is helping out. It's basically us and Notre Dame for the next five or four years, probably five years. The fun part about the recruiting now is I'm not even dependent on low lock cheese because this is just like our board, like 78 overall tight end. We have the lead. Where were you last year? But that's fine. 77. So, you know, these guys were all like on the board in their top five. So before I do anything else, because we got another point. So now there's a 10% chance of an instant commit. And I need some more points, so hopefully we can just get these guys signed. There we go. Perfect. 78 overall tight end. Welcome aboard. How about the 76 tackle? You want to come too? No. 75 corner? There we go. All right. Now I got some points to play around with. Even the athletes aren't really, like, intriguing to me anymore. It's just like, yeah, all right, 76 overall free safety. Yeah, if we can. This team is so stacked. We do need another D-tackle. That's why I want to go after Thomas here. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to go. Are you a gem? I think he's a gem. Yeah, he's a plus five gem. So fingers crossed no one else found him. We can jump up to the front, maybe get an instant commit out of him too. Same thing with Cantrell. Are you... No, he's just a plus two. We could use another linebacker. We could use another D-end. We do actually have needs on this team, wide receiver and center. But so far, I haven't been blown away by the centers that I've found. There's only a 73 down here. But I can just as easily get any other offensive lineman, send them over to center, and they'll get a bump anyway. So if I get Pennington here or Brady, they are going to get probably a plus two, plus three overall bump just by moving to center. So why bother wasting my time on crappy centers if I can get better offensive linemen here? Okay, wait, I talked myself into Broussard. 93 speed, 89 XL, pretty good coverage skills. All right, we'll take him. I mean, we don't need another cornerback, but he can still play wide out. Yeah, so we still need a D tackle. We need a wide receiver. So, I mean, let's, let's hope this all goes well. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to jump forward a week. We're going to see how these points shape up, or we're going to try for some more insta commits. Oh, well, we lost one of the tackles. Oh, we just massively jumped over to South Carolina. All right, let's try and get into the commit on uh, Cantrell here. Nope, that's all right. Get your points back. Get a lead on Hill. Nope, all right. Big lead on Ball. Come on, we need you. Nope. Well, I mean, at least we still have the lead on Pennington. Bennett, we got a lead. This, I like this game. Just instant commit. No. Broussard, can you come? No? All right, well, you get some points. Coleman? Oh, I forgot about the 73 D tackle. All right, let's give you an instant commit. No, you, you didn't. Okay. All right, Peterson, we'll try for an instant commit with you, too. No. All right, well, you're not getting any points. I was just being nice. So, let's just... We have to go after a D tackle. I know I'm throwing points at three different D tackles right now, but... We need at least one. Yeah, let's jump forward one more week. Let's play with some low locks. Okay, we take care of UCF. I was going to put tougher opponents on here, but then I remember what conference we're in. So our out of conference is slightly weak. We've only got a B plus strength of schedule. But I mean, that's mostly on the strength of the ACC. 
Like, my strength of schedule will go up by just playing 11 games and removing UMass. Oh, we start off the season setting a pass record again. We do that a lot. All right, so one more week and maybe we can offer Dorch a scholarship. Pennington already wants to come to visit. Bennett, we got a good lead. Broussard, we're starting to take a lead. Coleman, let's keep increasing that lead. All right, oh, we got a four-star quarterback, a cornerback just sitting down here. A couple of them, actually. Uh, I'll look at the DN, though. I'll look at the middle linebacker. I, I don't know why. He's from Connecticut, too. Oh, my God. Why are we not on your board? Would you not like us or something? No, we're... I mean, that's a pretty decent bonus. Another tight end. So they're just slamming us all the tight ends we didn't get the last few years. Thanks. The number one overall athlete? Sure. 71 overall D-tackle? Yeah, I'm just gonna, like focus more on the front seven on the defense i don't need quarterback <laughs> we've got one senior and three freshmen i don't need a quarterback halfback i could use one maybe one of the athletes would be one corner we grabbed safeties we just grabbed last year so we're good there i'll take a look at this guy 74 juco maybe he goes up and he might be a starter for us next year because everyone's a senior all right let's scout some people Plus seven. All right, David Johnson. Plus two. What are you? Minus two. Solid cornerback. Solid quarterback, too. All right, Lolock's being pretty good, too. Ooh, plus six gem. I think this is my D tackle I'm going to go after now. Forget that 73. No, I take it back. This guy's my guy. Or is this the Juco? Yeah, this is the Juco corner gets a plus one like there's some good options out here plus two for this guy bust but still 70 overall plus three yeah sorry coleman you'll maybe i'll go after you later too i mean thomas the only problem we're only getting 15 a week our only hope is that we can schedule a visit jump to the top of his board and an insta commit which means I'm not giving up on him just yet. I gotta take points away from some people after though. All right, jumped forward a week. We got Pennington to sign on the visit. So that's good. We must have had a pretty good visit for him to instantly sign him. All right, well, we got the lead on Dorch, which means we can offer him a scholarship, maybe insta commit. No, oh well. All right, so I definitely want this middle linebacker. I definitely wouldn't mind having the number one overall athlete. Okay, so we'll do that for now. We got five people ready for visit. We can bring him in this week against Virginia Tech. So Thomas, again, we're going to bring him in now. We're going to try and insta commit him. And afterwards, it might just, it might not happen. Same thing, just everyone come on down. Stephen Hill. Look, more complimentary visits. This is going to go well for the people we have the lead on. We can't get the D tackle just on the strength of a visit, but we can probably get a cut like Dorch here. We can probably get him off the visit. We can probably get Hill. We can probably get Cantrell if the defense plays well. That's really all there is to get into right now. Like, it's basically just like, go through recruiting, sim a week. Like, it's a lot more like streamlined now because we're actually, we're not chasing people. So there's more going on. But let's see, because I'm focused on trying to get this team to win the Natty this year. I don't know if we can. It's still going to be a little rough. I'm expecting one or two losses this season, but I'm hoping because we're starting off so high that we can get into the title game anyways. Well, there we go. We beat Virginia Tech. 49-35, not the greatest score. But hopefully the defense did enough to get some of these people to commit. I mean, at least we won. We got a couple bonuses right there. Okay, so we got Dorch and we got Cantrell. So that's two prospects signed. Pretty good bonus to Thomas here. Again, not enough to sign him. But we got pretty good leads. Bennett already wants to come in for a visit now, too. Another time we throw for five touchdowns. We need to throw for six. Like, we're going to need that soon. You know what? Let's go check the Heisman standing. So that's three games in. That's at least ten touchdowns, even if we threw none in the UMass game. Which, spoiler alert, we put up 45 points against UMass. Oh, we're not on the list anymore. That's the problem when you have a quarterback who doesn't run at all. Like Scrambler, Balanced, and a bunch of halfbacks. It's hard for a pocket passer to win it. 
But hey, we're only 100 points away from getting a 15% bump to Insta Commit. We had a good visit with this guy and we actually lost points. We gained 960 for a bonus and we, we lost 565 this week. Okay. Now it's like, do I go for Insta Commit or do I hope that we get 100 points this week and do the Insta Commits next week? Oh wait, we need 100 points. Wait, I can just schedule two visits against Syracuse here. Because we'll probably sign these guys anyways. There's 50. There we go. Let's go upgrade Insta Commit and get some Insta Commits now. Alright, so let's start off with some Insta... Let's, let's go. 20%. We just doubled our chances at Insta Commits. There we go. Nope, not Dixon though. What about Edwards? Number one overall athlete. Number one overall prospect. Nope, not yet. Johnson, we're not there yet. But now we cleared up some points. All right, let's go after Gardner here. I would. I mean, if we can bring in three linebackers, that's great. Definitely need some more depth than at that position. But this is already a pretty good recruiting class. I, f I already forgot we had a 77 overall, so I guess we're going after four linebackers. Oh well. We can't even get the top classes report yet. We've already got five or six prospects, we can't get top classes yet. Alright, took care of Duke. Alright, 4-0. Thomas has officially locked us out. Well, that stinks. I'll try and use a locksmith on him, though. Hill and Ball, we already got signed. Oh, I don't have locksmith, do I? No, I didn't bother with that one. Dang. This would be perfect, because we could probably locksmith him, jump to the lead. And get him. And instead, we just lost out on Thomas. I mean, oh darn. We still got other ones coming in. Alright, bye, bud. Alright, well, let's offer some more scholarships. There's an instant commit. Not for Gardner. Not for Allen. Okay. This recruiting class is getting too good. We just have the lead in the 74 overall DN. Sure, let's offer you a scholarship. Nope. Alright, so we'll probably get this guy. Probably get Broussard. Dixon's looking good. Edwards is looking good. Gardner's not a big deal. We got two 76 D tackles. Good job, Shane. Way to pay attention. I mean, I can stop recruiting now and we'll be golden. But I'm going to get greedy. I'm going to look for another offensive lineman because I do need... Uh, What do I need? I need another tackle if I can get it. Like at this point, do I want a 69 overall athlete? You're just going to get cut if you come in. All right, so, whoop. Well, that guy's not bad, but I just made him disappear. Low lock's kind of like, there's not much. 69 overall, ooh. I don't need a quarterback, but are you good? You're all right. Barnes. There's a gem. This guy's a junior juco, but 79 overall. I mean, if I can't get another tackle, that's not bad. What about Wilson? You a gem? No. There's not much for offensive linemen this year outside of what we already got. So, I'm going to go after Barnes. Go after Bush. I still don't know if they get these points that I'm throwing at them right now or not. I think I'm wasting points. I think that's what I'm doing. So, I'm just going to go ahead and offer Rogers the points. I'll give him the Coleman. Actually, I'll give him the Peterson. At this point now, it's just sort of like four-star prospects. Just come on in. Like, this tight end is only a 70 overall. But he's a four-star. It'll make the recruiting class look better. Bostic's going to move up the board. He's a Juco. Maybe I'll have an easier time just grabbing him. All right, I'm going to jump forward probably a couple weeks. Just I'll let you guys know if anything important happens. All right, so we're here at week eight. Uh, we just took care of Clemson. We only won by three points. So we're up to number two in the country, which is what I like to see. No real big updates on recruiting, except, like, almost everyone wants to visit, and also we signed that 76 overall athlete. Barnes, I was trying to make a late run at him because Auburn found him the same time we did, and we're only gaining, like, 50 points, it looks like. I mean... Give it a shot. It's not like my points are going anywhere else that we need. No insta-commits. Uh, I guess I'll throw my points at Bostic. Because we do need an offensive lineman. 
James. Oh, well, Florida found him. All right, so I put him back on the board for no reason. All right, bye, bud. Plus four. Not bad for someone who we're already leading on. I'm not going to try and insta-commit him or anything. I'm going to be a little more conservative with my scholarships now. So let's put the points back on Edwards here before I forget. Schedule these visits. God, I hope we smoke Syracuse. Oh, you're going against Dixon. All right, you can come in and see Wake. All right, this should be quick from here. Let's just bounce forward and hope we don't choke a game away. Took care of BC easily. I'm worried about Florida State now. Whew, now the three-pointer, but we stay undefeated. It's going to move us to 8-0. No. Okay. Okay, we dropped to number three. I mean, weak, you know, weak schedule, kind of. Mostly because everyone who we were supposed to play who was going to be tough fell off. All right, there. I finally offered the middle linebacker more than 300 points, and he finally signed. And we lost out on this 68 overall wide receiver. I don't care anymore. I don't even know what to do with these points anymore. Uh... Um, I guess I'd rather have the D end, but the tight end wouldn't be bad. All right, we got a couple guys. We're falling behind on both of them, but I'm hoping these visits go well. We can jump up, insta commit, you know, the whole deal. All right, come on, Syracuse. Watch it ruin our season right here. Now, one point. Oh my God. What is it? Someone's injured. Someone's got to be injured, right? Why are we struggling against Syracuse? All right, those visits went well. We just signed pretty much everyone. Now I really don't know to do what to do with these points. 2,000 yards in the season, 50 touchdowns. Uh, we still got three games left in the regular season. Sign a top five prospect. No, we signed the number one overall prospect. That athlete was number one. And we didn't even really need him. We got an 850 bonus for the visit, and we only gained 285 points. We did jump for Bush, though. So, insta commit, please. No. Boss six is not. It's not working out the way I expected it to. And we can only schedule him for a buy. I guess you. I don't know. What do we have? All right, we'll go for Lacey. We have seven scholarships left. You're a four star. You'll get cut anyways, but you're four star. Uh. You're a four-star. Go for the insta commit on you. No, all right. Well, you're a four-star. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't really care if we get any of these players now. What are we looking at right now? I gotta get Locksmith too. We got another point. Are we number one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fourteen four stars. We already have eighteen people in this class. I mean, even if we don't get the number one of our recruiting class, like the players we're bringing in are gems. So, who cares what this says? That's why I just keep going after four stars. Oh, you know, Indiana and Boston College. Definitely teams you usually see in the top ten. Definitely some powerhouses there. All right, we're just going to go week by week and see if we win these games. We're not, we're not going to bother going and recruiting. I mean, I'm still going to do it, but we're just not going to look at it. All right, took care of Rutgers pretty easily. That's more like it. So, it's Bama, Notre Dame, and us. And Georgia's right there, too. We're number two in the media. Bama's number four. So what would this be? Number three in the BCS. <sighs> All right, we need one of these guys to choke a game. Preferably Notre Dame. Hey, but look, McIntyre's second for the Maxwell. He's not a Heisman finalist, but he's being recognized as one of the best. McIntyre also eighth for the Walter Camp. Mancum is second for the Bednarik. And second for the Nagurski. McIntyre's top for the O'Brien. Williams is 10 for the Walker, so he's having a decent season. Parham putting up some pretty good numbers. Number two for the Bolitnikov. Mullen is number one for the Outland, I would, I would say so. Number one for the Remington, and Williams down here, number 10. Smith, number four for the Lombardi. Ooh, we got finalists everywhere. Mangum, best linebacker. For Carter is number eight for best returner. All right, some representation here. I'll take it. If these visits go well, we might just sign everybody on our board. What do I do with my points then? 45 to 10. Well, we signed the left end. D-tackle left. All right, so at least we have something to do with the points. We're up to number two. All right, cool. Did someone lose? Oh, yeah, Notre Dame went down to Louisville. All right, perfect. Perfect. So Bama and Georgia will pretty much be battling for the number one spot. 
I'm fine being number two. Take care of business against NC State. Looks like we'll be playing Georgia Tech in the championship game. Louisville and Minnesota are both one-loss teams. Damn, I put Louisville down in the American and nerfed them, and they're up to number four. That didn't work out. All right. Come on, NC State. We, we got to get this done this week. We got to take care of NC State. They're garbage. Are we better than them by a lot? Pretty decent margin. We got to take care of them. 55 to 10, we smoked them. All right. Uh, so from here, we're just going to jump to the championship game because that's the end of our regular season. All right, conference championship week. We are the number one school. Alabama and Georgia both decided to lose. So it's actually funny how this is shaping up. And I know what I'm rooting for. So we are number one. Louisville's number two. App State is number three, according to the coaches poll. Now they're number four in the media and number four in the BCS. I kind of want East Carolina to take down Louisville and we get App State in the championship game. But also we have to beat Georgia Tech to get there. Which, uh, they're pretty good. Also, McIntyre has jumped back in this. He's a Heisman finalist. I'm not getting my hopes up. But 3,400 yards, 39 touchdowns already, only three picks. So, uh, again, like... He'll be the number one overall pick regardless. I just, man, imagine if he ran the ball. As far as recruiting, it looks like we're just going all in for Bush in the offseason. We fell off on that wide receiver. These guys are just some garbage that I'm throwing points at because why not? I mean, we're signing like the 65 overall athlete. We got this quarterback we don't need. We got this wide receiver. tight. You know, it's just, it's players who probably won't make the roster. Still have the number one overall class, but I mean, if Bama signs a five-star player or if Ohio State signs a couple players, we're probably going to lose it. That's all right. I'm more focused on going for the Natty. This will be our toughest matchup, though. No matter who we play in the national championship, this is going to be our toughest matchup. So we got to get it done here. Come on, defense. Shut down that triple option. We did it. All right. All right. Okay. National Championship, here we come. Oh my god, please let it be App State. I'm not scared of Louisville. I just want to play App State. Actually, I thought it would be funny if we had lost, it would have been two group of five schools playing for the Natty. Oh no, it wouldn't have, because Georgia Tech would have jumped up to number one. Never mind. Alright, we do finish fourth over the Heisman, but that's fine. At least we were there. We won the ACC Championship. We got the Davey O'Brien. My trophy case is full, that's why I keep hitting do not add. Mullins won the Outland. Actually, I'm going to add that. I don't think I've ever won that before. I don't know if we get the Remington. I'll add those. Still, that's three awards that we won. But uh, we're still the number one team in the nation. I'm assuming playing Louisville. I'm assuming they took care of East Carolina. No, we get App State. Oh my god, we get it. What happened? Did Louisville go down? They did. Oh my god, 24-10, they dropped. Wow, okay, App State, one-star program. All right, I like this. What an odd pairing for a national championship game. I mean, we're the better school, but they're not bad. All right, so you know what? This will be the end of the episode, because I got a feeling this one ran pretty long already. Let's jump in and watch the Super Sim. And, I mean, there's very well chance this is a series finale too so let's jump into this and you know what since we are let's uh can we get a different can we get a different uniform maybe now their sets are pretty boring it's just like hey we'll take the red the red piping off and make it white that's the difference okay oh my god that offense number one in points number one in yards fourth in passing yards 14th in the run that's pretty good balance usually you're kind of really out of whack defense wasn't that bad either you know, 196 yards on the ground against us, 96 in the country. That's not great, but that's not terrible. Meanwhile, App State has the number two rush defense, the number one overall defense on points. Okay. Okay. Fun matchup. We're just sort of going to super sim this one. I don't think I have sliders on. We're going to super sim. We're going to see how this is going. McIntyre with a five-yard rush to start. Already fourth down. 
Not a great start. I'll jump in if they're struggling. Oh, wait, there's a penalty, a throwaway, but a 35-yarder. Okay, well, they take an early lead. All right, this is more like it. There we go. I like App State. I'm rooting for you. But this ain't where I'm losing my first natty. All right, they're going to take a lead. The fact that McIntyre is getting it done on the ground is a little weird. There's 4,000 yards on the season. And there's another touchdown, so we're tying it up. Come on, Thank defense. Gonna... Oh, there we go. Interception. Right, or was it a fumble? Now it was a pick. All right, I'm going to jump in here. Uh, I don't know anything about this playbook. I know it's Texas A&M. I'm going to go conservative and conservative, because, I, again, I don't think I have sliders on, but don't want to mess that up. Oh, this four vert stinks. Damn it. Ooh, Campbell with the pick. All right, I came in and ruined it. Third and ten, I'm going to jump in here, too. Maybe I'll try and stop them from scoring. Come on, man, gum. Screen pass. Come on, we got to swallow. Yeah, okay, we got to swallow that up. Take a timeout. Come on, Carter. I'm good at returns. There we go. 27-yarder. Good job. There we go. Gray wide open. Missed the tackle. Not the fastest, but a 41-yarder right there. I'm gonna run out. Do I have a halfback? I do have my halfback out here. All right, cool. Try a screen pass real quick. Great blocks, but I ran into my offensive lineman. We had a path. I'll take a timeout. See how they play this. I'm going for a screen, but I'll, I got halfback dive as an audible. Mm, try it. Yeah, big bl Oh, they... Uh, I just threw a pick to a D lineman. That's how my day went. Someone please track him down. So yeah, that's that's how my I'm gonna I'm gonna stop helping because I'm not. All right, they only got a field goal out of that. I'm gonna try and return this kick, and then I'll give it. I mean, I'm good at kick returns. If I'm good at anything, it's kick returns. Especially when I get blocks like that. Look at Carter go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. They let me have the underneath. I can get the... All right, I got to take a timeout. Can we make a 53-yarder? We, we can. Okay, we tie it in the halftime. They get the ball to start, though. Okay, the defense is struggling on third down. They just keep giving them up. They missed a 56-yard field goal. Come on, let's get back in position to tie it. Coach wants to punt it from here. All right, never mind. Go aggressive blocks. Clear the road. Thank you. That's how I'll help. There we go. All right, defense forced to punt. There we go. 22 years. Now we're getting the momentum. There we go. Another touchdown. All right, now we're up by seven. All right, yeah, I definitely ruined them. We'd probably be up by like three scores right now, but I threw two picks. Not never mind. Defense is melting down. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's just going to be back and forth. Okay, we're moving down the field too quick, guys. Feel free to, uh... Oh, they screwed the pooch. Take the field goal. All right, let's see. We got a sack to start off. Incompletion. All right, third and 16, I'm hopping in. Thank you! And there's a pick. Atkins, of course. Pushed out of bounds. All right, that'll seal the game. I'm going to take control again just because I feel like the computer will do some, like, goofy stuff. Oh, I forgot to go conservative. Just slide McIntyre. I just want to drain clock and kick a field goal. No one after McIntyre, but he can't quite get in. That's still going to put us at a makeable field goal and drain most of the clock off. There we go. They got 13 seconds. For some reason, we didn't have man up deep. I don't know why. They're going for a Hail Mary here. Six seconds left. He panicked and threw it. Oh my god, they have one second left. Thank you! And Cochran getting the pick. That guy's third of the game, so I don't feel so bad. There it is. Ball game, UConn, the national champions. Oh, McIntyre. Sorry I ruined your stats, but you've already sealed your status as one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time.
Two touchdowns, two picks, 288 yards, took a sack. Rushing Williams with two touchdowns. Williams. Oh, yeah, okay, the same Williams. I thought there was another one. No, 55 or 54 yards, one touchdown. Gray at 75. That was a big 41 yarder for him, though. A lot of pancakes there for Richardson. I almost cut him. You weren't even starting, actually. Where's the other center? Yeah, Williams. I have Williams starting at uh, left guard over Richardson. All right, well, good good play, I guess. Mobley got himself two sacks, so that guy's paying off. Atkins, Crockgren, and Harris all getting picked. So, again, this is like Atkins and McIntyre. That was our first recruiting class paying off right here. Kicker, yeah, three for three on field goals. Again, that's why I'm glad I had one on a red shirt. Okay. So UConn, the national champions, not bad at all. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the series finale. I, I'm kind of curious to see how it goes. I know next year is going to be kind of a down year because we're losing McIntyre. So we're losing about 12, 13 points at the quarterback position, depending on training results. But I'm kind of curious to see how this goes. So you guys let me know if you want to see this continue in the future. Also, uh, be aware it might be a Charlotte 49ers uh, series going forward because depending on how college football revamps and stalls, it might switch UConn over. So, uh, I don't know. But let me know down in the comments section if you want to see more of this. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave all that down in the comments section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.